I actually end, still park it, but other than that, I'm not I'm not driving the car at all. I mean, obviously in LA we also have Waymo now, which means you order it on your phone and it shows up with no driver in it and takes you to where you want to go. Oh yeah. So it's quite clear to see how that is potentially a matter of time if for those people, because we do have some of those people listening to this conversation right now that their occupation is driving. To offer them a, and I think driving is the biggest imp- occupation in the world, if I'm correct. I th- I'm pretty sure it is the biggest occupation in the world. One of the top ones, yeah. What would you say to those people? What, what should they be doing with their lives? What should they should they be retraining in something or? What time frame? So that's the paradigm shift here. Before we always said this job is going to be automated, retrained to do this other job. But if I'm telling you that all jobs will be automated, then there is no plan B. You cannot retrain. Look at computer science. Two years ago, we told people, learn to code. <laughs> you are an artist, you cannot make money, learn to code. Then we realized, oh, AI kind of knows how to code and getting better. Become a prompt engineer. You're going to engineer prompts for AIs. It's going to be a great job. Get a four-year degree in it. But then we're like, AI is way better at designing prompts for other AIs than any human. So that's gone. 